Alrighty. Uh, so welcome to your last video of the day. Uh, we are going to go ahead and do two worksheets today. Um, and I will explain and go through the first part of the first one. And then you will be able to complete the rest of it and the second worksheet all by yourself. So like we've been working on Monday and Tuesday, we are still on our number of the week, which is 30. Okay, so we have um, reached the end of our um, number line, at least for TK. So we are gonna go ahead and count through our 10 frames here, but we're gonna count by tens. So we know that in each 10 frame that's full, so every single box inside the 10 frame has something in it, that means it's full. So that means there are 10 markers in each 10 frame. So if we look, all three of our 10 frames are full. There's not one box left open. So then we know that this is 10, 10, and 10, okay? So then if we count by tens, we're gonna count 10, 20, 30, okay? So if we're counting in groups of tens, that stays 10, that turns into 20, and this is 30, okay? So it looks like that. Okay, so 10, 20, 30. Okay, so just like our number of the week, 30. So then we are gonna go ahead and do our even or odd. So I'm gonna turn my page around and we know that our number is 30. And in a number that has two numbers standing together, that's a double digit number. Okay, so there's one, two. But we're gonna look at that last number. We're gonna look at the zero, okay? So we're gonna write even and odd. So remember, you don't have to write this, you're just watching this part, it's just like we would do in class. Okay, so even numbers are zero, two, four, six, eight. Odd numbers are one, three, five, seven, and nine. Okay, so we're looking at our zero. So is zero even or is it odd? Okay, so there's my zero. Is it even? Do you see a zero here? or is it odd? Is there a zero in this group of numbers? Okay, if you said even, then good job. Because here's my zero right here. Zero falls under even. So I'm gonna go back to the front of my worksheet and I'm gonna circle even. So the number 30 is even, okay? So even, E-V-E-N, okay? Now I'm gonna go to my bubbles and I'm gonna put my plus sign in the middle. Because remember here we're adding. Okay, we're adding to get the um, sum of 30, or we want to plus two numbers to make 30. Okay, we're gonna add these two to get the 30. So we can use our 10 frames above. So if we know that we have 10, 10, and 10, and then if we count by tens, it's 10, 20, 30, we have 10, 10, and 10, but we only have space for two numbers. That means we need to add two of these numbers and save one 10. So we can put our 10 down here, okay? So that means, check, we used him. So now we have two more. So we can count, we'll count by tens for this. So we have 10, 20. So then I'm gonna use my 20 and I'm gonna put it here. Okay, because we know 20, so we'll count it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, so here are my three groups of 10, just like I have three groups of 10 here. So we know that 20 plus 10 equals 30, okay? 
So then we'll move on to our one more and one less. So I'm going to go back to the back of my sheet and I am going to draw a number line. Okay, so I'm gonna end at 31, 30, 29, and we'll start with 28. Okay, so there's my mini number line. I'm only using four numbers. I have 28, 29, 30, and 31. And it says it wants one more. So then my equation's gonna look like this. 30 plus one equals. Okay, and then on the one less section, it's gonna say 30 take away one equals. Okay, so let's do the plus one first. So remember, I'm always gonna start at my number of the week. So I'm gonna start at my 30. And it says plus one. So remember, when we're adding on the number line, we're jumping forward. If we're subtracting, then we're jumping backwards. Okay, so if I'm adding. And depending on what that number is, so our equation is on the front of our page is 30 plus one. So I'm jumping forward and it's telling me I have to jump forward one time. Okay, so I'm gonna go for my 30 and I'm gonna jump one time to my 31. Okay, so then your job is to write 31 in that first box. Now we're gonna go to 30 take away one. So remember, we start again at our number of the week and we're gonna do 30 take away one. So it's telling me take away, that means jump backwards on my number line and I have to jump back one time. So I'm gonna take my 30 and I'm gonna jump back one. So that means my answer, 30 take away one is 29. <clears throat> so I am going to write 29 here, okay? Um, <clears throat> so now your job is to trace the 30s and then write 30 and then trace the word 30 and write the word 30. And then you are gonna grab your fun with numbers page and, get, and um, go ahead and do this. So you're gonna trace the number, count the dots, uh, circle each 30 you find in this box. Then it says count up, count back, and then uh, count the number of ants and circle the correct number that you count. Okay, so it's either there's 10 ants, 20 ants, or 30 ants. Okay, so that's what you're going to do today. And remember, just a reminder, we are meeting at 2.30, and I will see you all then.